Welcome to the last episode of our Sales Funnel video series. I'm Mark Nee, CEO of Sync Lab Media here in Addison, Texas at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. We hope that you have enjoyed all of our videos on how to use video content to make your sales funnel perform better and close more business. However, we're not quite finished yet. As we clearly outlined in this series, video marketing is now critical to sustaining your business. It also takes a real commitment to develop and then follow an effective video strategy. This commitment includes time, effort, and adequate funding. A word of caution, an effective video strategy is a long-term effort. Just like any other form of marketing, it takes time for video content to take hold and start making a measurable impact on your results. And your results can fluctuate based on several factors, especially how much of a budget is put behind supporting your video content through promoted posts and paid advertising. The best advice that I can give you is to commit to producing quality video content consistently over time, at least six months, but preferably a year. Consumers take their time seriously and they want to only watch quality content. Now this doesn't mean that you need to get every video professionally produced, but you should have or develop the internal capability to produce quality video content. At Sync Lab Media, we advocate for a three-tiered video marketing strategy, brand identity, brand voice, and brand reputation. We expect that our clients are going to create a lot of their own second and third tier content according to their strategy. You also need to be consistent. Once you start your target consumers on their journey, you must have the content in place to lead them the rest of the way through your funnel. If not, you have just wasted the initial time, effort, and funds. Finally, you have to keep in mind that the process takes time to attract consumers, turn them into prospects, and then convert them into customers. Remember that a customer's journey is their journey on their time frame. They will not make a buying decision until they are ready. Now, let's address the cost associated with developing and executing your video marketing strategy. I'm sure that's why you're still watching, right? There are many variables and factors involved to determine an exact cost for producing video marketing content. Every business has unique objectives and internal capabilities. However, I can outline the most common factors that determine video production cost. Here they are. One, the total number of videos produced at a time. Two, the finished length of each video. Three, the frequency at which the videos will be released relative to the strategy. Four, if the content requires location or studio production. Five, what equipment, crew, and or talent will be required. Six, will the content be stock footage and images only. Seven, what other types of media will be added to the video? And eight, what animation or motion graphics will be used? These are factors that will affect the cost of just the production of the content. You should also consider the cost associated with distributing and marketing your content on the platforms that will reach your target audience as defined in your overall marketing strategy. As I mentioned earlier, supporting your video content through promoted posts and paid advertising to your targeted audience on the right platforms will require more cost, but it will also expedite your desired results. Our experience and research has determined that a business should designate around 2 to 4% of their annual gross revenue toward video marketing and advertising. Let's take the average small business with 10 to 19 employees. In 2019, that size of business averaged just under $5 million in gross revenue. So their minimum annual video marketing budget should be at least $100,000. Now, this may seem like a very expensive endeavor, but it is typically about the same cost as hiring a full-time dedicated sales force that would generate the same results and new revenue for the business. Video content does not replace an entire sales team. But executed with the right strategy, it can increase productivity and results that result 
insubstantial ROI. Finally, another way to look at the cost of video marketing is to consider the cost of doing nothing. According to Smart Insights, 41% of B2B marketers are interested in exploring how videos can be added to their marketing and sales strategies in 2020. Businesses who do not embrace the power of video marketing will not be able to sustain or grow their market share, especially while competitors are executing their video marketing strategies. Thanks again for allowing me to take you on the journey through your video-centric sales funnel. I really hope that this series has helped you to gain a better understanding of how you can improve your marketing and sales results. Of course, we are here to help. Let us know if you would like to schedule a free 30-minute consultation to explore your unique business opportunities. Contact us at info at syncladmedia.com or through your favorite social network. And always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sync Lab Media Studio to watch this series and other valuable content. See you next time.